But I have fun though, you know. One thing you guys definitely made possible is I have the ability now to travel, and I never did that. I never used to travel until I became a comedian. I'm like, oh my God, there's a whole nother world out there. When I was hanging out in Florida, I got a chance to experience an amusement park that was a little different. It was an alternative park called Gatorland. It's a real park, and I've met the owners, and they're really cool people, but I gotta tell you, best part about this amusement park is they have a recording. The funniest thing I've ever heard. You call this park, this is what you hear. You've reached Gatorland, America's premier gator extravaganza. You've seen them on TV, now come see them live. Gatorland, you're going to love this park. <laughs> then he says this, for Spanish, press two. <laughs> oh, I got to hear this. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, but you're going to love this park. <laughs> Oh, I was dying. I called him like 10 times. <laughs> oh, that's the best. Oh, I'm starting to sweat a little, huh? Too sexy. Arr. I don't care, though. I have a lot of fun, you guys. You guys have made a lot of things possible. Um, in the beginning, when I first started coming here to Bakersfield, to the Fox Theater, uh, you guys showed a lot of love. I used to go to this taco truck place, up the way, called Taco Loco. And it's still there. I love food on wheels, you know? But this taco place is taken to the next level. They're really, really good there, and I'm not, they're not paying me nothing, I'm just talking about them. But I go to order, and these guys were kinda, you know, the girls were cool, but the guys were mean. I try to order some food, right? I'm like, hello? And the guy was like, ¿Qué pasó, gordo? What you want? What you want? Oh, uh, hey, dude, can I get two tacos, chicken, and a Coke? Okay, what else? That's it. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> but we've had a lot of fun. We got to promote on a lot of different radio stations here in town to get the word out to you guys about the show. They try to get me set up on the Spanish radio station, and I've done that in the past, and it was okay. But the last few times, I had to say no because they put me on the radio with a guy who's like from Mexico. And I can speak Spanish, but you put me up against somebody from the motherland? Whoo! <laughs> You know, I walk in the studio and I'm dealing with this one guy, right? And uh, we go on the air and he's like, <laughs> I meet that same guy in the hallway. He sounded just like that. I'm like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Are we on the air? No! <laughs> oh, why are you talking like that? Porque <laughs> sí! And I freaked out, because you imagine this guy goes home talking like that to his wife and his kids, come two, three o'clock in the morning, his wife maybe wants to do a little something, and she tells her man, honey, tonight when the kids are sleeping, what are you going to do to me? ¿Qué me vas a hacer? Bueno, el que vamos a hacer, vamos a darnos al corto. Ya puedes hacer los balones, quitarte los calzones para ver a ese culote. Sí, 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 sí. Esta nalgada está presentada por I know somebody who doesn't speak Spanish is gonna go home and try that tonight, man. See, <laughs> <laughs> you better stop.